In this review it's time to turn back the clock and look at a classic Scania 143H torpedo. It's paired up with a tipper trailer and it's in the colours of Zeldenrust, which is a Dutch company specialising in sand extraction. Well to begin with there's no excitement in the packaging, it's the standard WSI box. And there are only two parts to the model, the tractor and the trailer. The 6x2 Scania is nicely detailed underneath, with different tyres on the driven axle. The cab detailing is very good with lights and a visor on the roof. There are grab rails and straps on the engine cover, and metal width markers and a realistic number plate add to the detail. The graphics on the cab are both nice and sharp, and they're attractive. The chromed exhaust stacks also look good because they look like they've got holes. And there are the usual coiled airlines. At the back the lights have nice plastic lenses and the Scania name is imprinted on the plastic mudflaps. On the trailer the detailing of the rear axles is very good with some thin hoses. The wheel trims are nice and the support legs include a thin winding handle. At the front there's a metal ladder with a shovel behind and the big ram looks like it means business. The covers on the body are metal and nicely ridged. At the back the tailgate is nicely decorated and the rear lights are made up of plastic lenses. Out onto the test track with the Scania, and it rolls well enough without being particularly free rolling. And looking underneath there's no suspension on the rear axles. But again it's nice to see another WSI model with a decent amount of steering movements. And putting it into action it both poses and works well. This is a tractor with a nose and as always it's nice to pull a nose. And the cover opens forward to a good angle. Underneath is an engine and it's made up with a number of different components. Closing the cover is fine but you just have to make sure you don't catch on the width markers. The trailer is nicely modelled and it's heavy because it's nearly all metal. And that weight helps it to roll along pretty well. Looking underneath the axles have got good functionality because there's independent suspension on each one. And if only we hold it the right way you might be able to see it. What's also nice is the mechanically linked steering of the axles. It works well but it's not actually mechanically linked to the angle between the trailer and the tractor. Once the steering is set though it performs very well and it follows a nice curved arc. The other working feature underneath is the support legs and they both unscrew and they're also engineered well because they don't show any screw threads as you unwind them. You can set them to any length you want and they work well in supporting the trailer. Anyway, these two partners have been apart too long, so let's join them together. And with this clip, the tractor and trailer are joined together, and we pronounce them a truck. Let's hope they'll be very happy together, and let's look at some more functionality on the trailer. It's got metal covers which are very nicely hinged, so you can open it up and rest them in the side position. And of course, this is a big tipper, and everyone loves a big tipper. It's got a multi-stage metal ram, and that opens up smoothly and it's able to hold any intermediate pose. And as you can see, one thing that's very nice is that the tailgate is free swinging. So on to the genuine imitation real life test. And here we'll see how carefully the discharge of sand can be controlled. Just pity the poor old Cranes etc team member who doesn't even realize that there's anything happening. Only finally does he react when he thinks he's getting a pat on the back from management. Meanwhile the tipper works flawlessly and very realistically empties its load. This is yet another very nice truck model from WSI. The distinctive Scania T-cab looks great and the functionality of the tipper is really good too. It's a nicely decorated model so it looks good and it's easy to highly recommend. Mm -hmm.